Common English Collocations with Food from EspressoEnglish.net Let's look at some adjectives with food. If the food is good, you can say the food is delicious, tasty, scrumptious, or wonderful. Children often say that food is yummy. Some other adjectives used for specific types of food are luscious. Luscious is usually used for fruits that are fresh and juicy. Mouth-watering. This word often describes foods with a pleasant aroma or that are visually attractive and which make your mouth produce saliva in anticipation of eating it. Tempting. Describes a food that makes you want to eat it, even if it's not especially healthy. We often use tempting for an indulgent food like a high-calorie dish or a sweet dessert. If the food was merely okay, you can describe it as decent, which has a positive connotation, or mediocre, which has a more negative connotation. If the food didn't seem good, you can describe it as unappetizing. That means something about the food's appearance or smell made you not want to eat it. If the food was bad, you can say it was disgusting, horrible, or even inedible, meaning it was so bad it couldn't be eaten. If the food is unusual and includes elements from other countries, it is exotic. High-quality food can be described as gourmet or fine food. Food that provides the elements your body needs is nutritious or healthy. Food that isn't good for you is unhealthy. Another term for unhealthy food is junk food. If a particular food fills your stomach and satisfies you, you can say the food is filling. When you don't eat your entire portion of food, a portion is the regular amount of food for one person, you have leftover food, or simply leftovers, which you can eat later or on the next day. If food is fresh, it means it's new and good to eat. Many supermarkets have a section for frozen food, which is stored in the freezer at very low temperatures so that it stays good for a longer time. If a food is past its expiration date and is no longer safe to eat, it smells or tastes strange, then the food has gone bad. You can also say it's spoiled. When food is very old and starts decomposing, it is rotten. Food that stays good for a long time is non-perishable, such as rice, beans, sugar, etc., and food that has the potential to go bad quickly is perishable, such as fruit, meat, etc. Organic food is grown in a natural way without using dangerous chemicals. There's also processed food, which has gone through a lot of changes in factories. Perhaps the best kind of food is homemade. Homemade food is food that is prepared at home, in a traditional way, by a real person. Now let's look at some verbs. Of course, the most common verb we use with food is eat. You can also use have, have lunch, have a bite of your sandwich, have some potatoes. And a more formal word is consume. When you eat, you first take a bite of your food. That means cut it with your teeth. Then you chew your food, crush it with your teeth, and swallow. Make the food go down your throat into your stomach. Then your stomach and intestines will digest your food. If you eat very fast, you gulp down or wolf down your food. This is usually considered bad manners. If you're not very hungry or if you're preoccupied with something, you might pick at or play with your food. This means to eat very little and to just push the food around on your plate instead of eating it normally. People who are on a diet need to avoid or cut down on, that means reduce, certain types of food. They may even need to cut out, completely remove, some foods. If you're in a restaurant, you order food, 
ask for food from the waiter or waitress. You can also order food for delivery at your house. Animals need to hunt for, look for, or search for food. They need to find it. Finally, you can store food. That means keep it in your refrigerator or cabinets, on shelves, and in other places in your house. Finally, let's look at some nouns with food. Your food bill or grocery bill is the amount of money you spend regularly on food. It will be higher or lower depending on your food intake or food consumption. That's the amount of food you eat. If the food supply, the amount of food available, in a country gets low, the country may have to ration its food, control how much is distributed. Eventually, a food shortage, a lack of sufficient food, may turn into a food crisis. That's a very serious problem with not enough food. Restaurants must worry about food hygiene or food safety when they prepare food for clients. If someone eats a food that has gone bad, they might get food poisoning. That means getting sick as a result of bacteria in the food. Finally, some countries provide food stamps to poor people. Food stamps are coupons that allow them to get food for free. If you'd like to learn the common combinations of words used by native English speakers, check out my ebook, 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. English slang words about food and drink from EspressoEnglish.net. Are you ready to learn some slang about food and drink? You'll learn the slang words and listen to the pronunciation. You can also try saying the words and sentences out loud for some pronunciation practice. At the end of the video, there's a quiz where you can review the slang words you learned in today's lesson. Let's get started. Number one, grub. Grub is a slang word for food. It's often used in the phrase, let's get some grub. For example, I'm hungry, let's get some grub. Two other slang words for food are nosh and chow. They're also used in this phrase, let's get some, let's get some nosh, or let's get some chow. Number two, booze. Booze is a slang word for alcohol. For example, we found him asleep next to an empty bottle of booze. Number three, cup of joe. Cup of joe is a slang word for coffee. For example, if I don't have my morning cup of joe, I can't stay awake for my 7 a.m. class. Number four, grinder. A grinder is a long sandwich filled with vegetables, meat, or cheese. For example, have you tried the new meatball grinder? It's really good. Other names for a long sandwich like this include hero, sub, and hoagie. The names vary depending on the region of the United States. Number five, lay off a food. To lay off something means to stop eating so much of a particular food. For example, I'm gaining weight. I should probably lay off the fast food. Number six, pig out. To pig out is to eat a lot of food. For example, we pigged out at the all-you-can-eat buffet. Number seven, doggy bag. A doggy bag refers to food you take home from the restaurant if you didn't finish it. For example, that restaurant served so much food that I couldn't eat it all, so I took the rest home in a doggy bag. Number eight, plastered. If you are plastered, it means you are very drunk with alcohol. For example, he's completely plastered. He can't even stand up. Other words that mean very drunk include wasted, juiced, sauced, sloshed, hammered, trashed, and shit-faced. Shit-faced is a little bit offensive, but all of these words are slang ways to say very drunk. Number nine, brunch. The word brunch is a combination of the words breakfast and lunch. Brunch is a meal eaten in the late morning, which replaces breakfast and lunch. For example, 
were having brunch at 10.30 on Sunday morning. Number 10. Sweet Tooth A person who has a sweet tooth is someone who loves candy, cookies, cake, chocolate, and other sweet foods. For example, my son has such a sweet tooth, he'd eat candy for breakfast if I let him. Number 11. Veggie Veggie is short for vegetable. It can also mean vegetarian food. For example, I'm making some veggie burgers. Veggie burgers look like hamburgers, but instead of being made of meat, they're made of vegetables. Number 12. Yummy and Yucky Yummy means delicious, and yucky means disgusting. These two words are mostly used by children, or when talking with children. For example, macaroni and cheese is really yummy. I don't like broccoli. It's yucky. Number 13. Wolf down. If you wolf down food, it means you eat very fast. For example, he wolfed down four pieces of pizza and asked for more. Number 14. Snack on. To snack on something means to eat lightly. For example, if you want to lose weight, try snacking on dried fruit instead of potato chips. Number 15. Have a bite. If you want to taste some of your friend's food, you could say, Can I have a bite of your steak, spaghetti, salad, etc.? It's a polite way to ask for a sample of your friend's dish. And number 16. Grab a bite to eat. This is an informal way to say, get something to eat. For example, let's grab a bite to eat on the way to work. Okay, now try the quiz to test your knowledge of these slang words about food and drink. Click the link in the video to go straight to the quiz. And if you want to learn more, get my ebook about slang and informal English. It's an easy and convenient way to learn the slang words that native English speakers use.